I don't know what's going on here. What's up? Can you get him away from the whole thing and call somebody else to be the second day? That's my corporal. I'm not going to call someone else. All that is required for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. Edmund Burke. Hello. I'm Officer Thomas with the Walton Police Department. The reason why I stopped you is improper signaling. Uh, do you have your driver's license, proof of insurance, and registration? Howdy, everyone. David here with Auditing Arkansas. You guys really need to take a look at this video. This is an investigative look into the tyrannical career of Adam Bryant, one of Moralton, Arkansas's finest. If you haven't seen the video of this bully making up laws and trying to enforce them, as I was filming in Lightning Mines Cannabis Dispensary, I will link that video in the info card above. This video interaction starts with Patrolman First Class Colton Thomas conducting a routine traffic stop. Based on later interactions with Bryant, it's obvious our driver is known by the police, and it is entirely possible that he was pulled over on a pretextual basis. Nevertheless, Patrolman Thomas approaches the car, identifies himself, and gives a reason for the stop. Very professional, courteous, and respectful. The way all police officers should act. But the question I have is this. Is Officer Thomas a good man? One thirteen dispatch him out with him. addressing me as hey and yo because I don't answer that crap. How about that? How about you try something different? Maybe I'll talk to you. Do what? Were you the one that said I was improper signal? No. Did I say that? No. I was just Did I stop you? Why are you being so hostile? I'm asking you a question. Did I stop you? Yeah. Did I stop you? Chill, Bill. Chill, Bill, bro. Chill. I'm not your bro. Don't call me bro. bro. Don't call me bro. So, Mr. Mobley, your day's coming, and I can't wait, okay? I can't wait for that day. I'm going to relish the fact. That's funny. This camera's saying otherwise. Mr. Mobley, we've all dealt with you enough. We know how you are. You dealt with me. You dealt with my little brother. You need to get the facts straight before you come to me like that sideways, dude. <laughs> Brother, Sideways, you know, dude. You know That's the one y'all threw on the ground and tased and done all that dumbass on this say shit too. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. Don't come to me sideways when you don't know my life, dude. Oh, I know plenty about you. Oh, yeah. Sure I do. I know more than you think you do. Like I said, man, your day's coming and I can't wait. Because, you know. I hope you're, I hope you're happy with the job. Oh, I am, man. Been doing it for 10 years. So. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, 
Am I funny? Oh, so are you. You know, he said this bad. This cloud ass dude and the band when I talk shit to us just because he got a gun and shit on his side. Oh, I wouldn't need that to talk to you like that. Shit, I would, okay. You don't scare nobody, I guarantee you that much. You try to nobody trying to scare you. Don't know. Ain't nobody trying to scare you. Do this shit in public. You Talk to us like this in public. Dude. Okay. All right, I will. See me in public. See me somewhere in public and talking without a badge. Like okay. I'm not saying anything okay. going to happen to you. No, I will. I'll be looking for you. But you want to be an asshole behind a badge? I ain't doing it. Dude. Why are you shaking so much, dude? Why are you so scared right now? Scared. You're scared. You're shaking like a leaf on a tree. And you got a reason to not shoot shit. people. Bro. No. Oh, is that right? And you over here getting hostile with him? Nah. This camera right here has been recording yeah, the whole thing. The camera records a lot of shit. The yeah. The camera records police shooting black people all the time. How old are you? you still do it. How old are you? you say, I'm old enough, sir. You're I'm not smart enough, enough then. I, yeah, I am. I no. am. Police shoot people all the time. And no, they don't. the right to be scared of you. Because <laughs> you, you don't serve and protect shit. Okay. You don't serve and protect the damn thing. All you do is just try to fuck with Oh, is that right? Yes. Is that right? That's all you do. Okay, I'm glad I was smart as y'all. Oh, enjoy your day. Enjoy your nice. That's okay. Yeah. That you think you're the shit because of, but no, you're not. You're not nah. You're not a damn thing. Neither are y'all. Good. Have a good yeah, I mean, y'all. I work. Like, so do I. Like, don't worry about me. Don't, don't worry about me either. either. Don't worry about all these other motherfuckers. Motherfuckers worry about. Worry about the people that killed, that pushed that person inside the river. That's worry county. That. That's county. That's worry not city. That, bro, stop worrying. That's about county, not bro. city. Yeah, get on See, you don't know your facts. Like, You're showing your ignorance again. You're showing your ignorance. Yeah. You're showing your ignorance. Yeah. That's okay. Hey, guess what? I don't lose opinion. I don't lose sleep over the opinions of people like you. Oh, me neither. I'm my life not worrying about you. Okay, that's good because I don't worry about you either. Because I've dealt with your kind for ten years. My kind, my kind, what? Black people? Is that what you're saying? My kind. No, I'm talking about smart mouth little punks. What are you saying? My kind. Black people. Is that what you're saying? My kind. My kind. Don't tell you on the Come on now. Get out of here, bro. Smart mouth little punks is what I'm talking about. Yeah, you're right. You're just trying to get me. You're just trying to provoke me, bro. No, I'm not gonna work. I'm not doing nothing. It's not gonna work. Nah. Let me talk to that camera. Nah. You're trying to provoke me, and it's not gonna work. Am I? Fire this piece of shit that you got. Okay. Cuss one more time out here in public and you're gonna go with me do you understand it's called disorderly conduct yes sir uh, it's called freedom of speech no it's called yes, disorderly sir. conduct yes sir it's all right. violating his rights by yes sir it. yes sir all right hey that's the thing man is they're smarter than everybody colton they're smarter than everybody they know everything by saying he can't talk to you like that you're a public uh, servant he can talk to you however i tell you what i tell you what look up the law and then get back with me yeah you look it up talk about okay you fellas have a safe night. Be good, okay? Adam Bryant was hired by the Moralton Police Department on October 18, 2011, after a strenuous and stressful seven-year career in the rent-to-own retail business. Now, I'm not saying that's his phone number, and I'm not saying that's not his phone number, but I'm not telling you to call him and... And, and say anything to him either. So, approximately six months after becoming a full time certified one year police officer, Patrolman Bryant was cautioned by Lieutenant Curtis Russell that he had reviewed several of his videos and saw that on several occasions he had started yelling at subjects in the car. Explained that he needed to settle down and not get mad every time somebody didn't answer the way he wanted to hear it. Bryant indicated he would try to do better. Hmm, let's see what Bryant did. Well, come to find out six months later, Patrolman Adam Bryant lost his shotgun. Well, lost, sold, stole, misplaced. Um... This leaves the only conclusion that it was stolen from my personal vehicle sometime within the past two weeks or another officer accidentally took it and didn't tell it without noticing it. Now, I, I'm sure that if another officer would have taken his shotgun from his personal vehicle, someone would have noticed the officer that took it. Adam Bryant was disciplined, well, kind of, 
he was told that he violated Section 62, Paragraph C, Item 2 of the Moralton Police Department personnel policy, saying that any employee who discovers that a departmental pro that a departmental property item has been stolen, either while at work, at the employee's home, or any other time and location, will immediately report that theft to the chief of police. He waited two weeks. He violated the personnel policy. His corrective action was simply to uh, slap on the wrist. Don't do that anymore. Somewhere out there, there's a 12-gauge pump shotgun in somebody's hands that shouldn't have it. It was the responsibility of our finest police officer, Adam Bryant. But wait, there's more. Four-day suspension without pay. This happened on July 2nd, 2014. Now, I, I asked for the video uh, of this, but they tell me that it, uh, it was too far back and they don't keep it after a year. So uh, all we have to go on is, is, is the uh, personnel file here. Uh, after reviewing the statements from you and the other officers in this department at the time of the incident and speaking to the prosecuting attorney, I determined that you did use excessive force by pushing the subject to the wall. I did see the subject start beating his head against the wall, but I do feel that you instigated that response when you pushed him to the wall. I also feel that you took his action due to the suspect cussing you. He also pointed his taser at Mr. Petty while he was sitting in the booking chair, which he failed to mention. Lieutenant Russell said he did not feel that pushing the subject against the wall and putting him in a lateral neck restraint while the subject was handcuffed and then taking him to the floor was in compliance with the Moralton Police Department's use of force policy. Four day without pay suspension. Now he's a patrolman. He's still an E1 basically. Now here's the kicker about this. We have Corporal Riggs and Patrolman Marriott both writing statements against Patrolman Bryant. Now, if, if these two officers broke that blue, thin blue line to write these statements, how much has this man gotten away with that we will never see, that we'll never hear about because of the thin blue line? Well... It pretty much his his statement says that oh I didn't do it and uh, that other officers have done it and he feels like he's being targeted and handled he handled the situation the best he knew how well if that's the best you know how then you need to learn how to do it different um, he said he never said anything until he started banging his head against the wall he never once cussed or raised his voice if there is an officer in this department that wants me gone, I wish they would approach me and talk to me if there is an issue. Well, I don't I think the issue is you there, Adam. Now, we cruise along about six months later. Mr. Adam Bryant destroys a man's prescription glasses. $337 set of prescription glasses that Officer Bryant destroyed without a court order belonging to a suspect in a criminal case. And here's the bill from Dr. Adams. $337. Even after all that, October 28, 2015, guess what? We promote this man. Our best and brightest, you see. We promote him to the rank of corporal. And give him a raise to $20 an hour. But we kick along here for a few more uh, months. And guess what else? Supervision of officers. Micromanaging. Cussing out officers. Cussing uh, Patrolman Harris. Patrolman Wilcut. Patrolman Wilcut advised that Patrolman Harris had... And he had arrested the subject... And Bryant came up and basically uh, escalated the conversation where he spoke to the subject. Wilkett stated that the subject was being very cooperative until Bryant started speaking with him. Wilkett stated that after Bryant was finished speaking with the subject, 
that he didn't want to cooperate anymore. When I spoke with Corporal Brown about the incident, he stated that from now on he would just stay out of the business of other officers unless they needed his assistance. I asked the corporal if there was anything he wanted to tell me concerning the incident. He said no and that he had it under control and it would not happen again. Bullshit. Now he's crying about uh, uh, micro uh, micromanaged and having a favorite shift that saying that they uh, uh, favorite shift and having a couple favorite officers crying like a baby. Uh oh, guess what? Guess what? July sixth of two thousand seventeen, our br best and brightest Corporal Adam Bryant demoted for three days without pay and demoted to the patrolman first class. Suspension will begin on 7-6-2017 and end on 7-11-2017. He'll have two days off after that and three days without pay. Please let his salary reflect that of patrolman first class. Still got a 83 cent an hour raise, effective 7-6-2017. Oh, let's see what happened. Poor baby Huey was in a bad mood that night before, because of a note that had been left on one of his reports by Detective Brixler. After hearing from several officers, I reviewed the video from the patrol room from the night before. In the video, I can clearly see Corporal Brian is very agitated and cussing at the computer. So I continue to watch the video. And then I see Patrolman Stephen Tolliver come in to the patrol room and ask Corporal Brian if the fireworks should have been canceled. And Corporal Brian told him that he didn't have a clue and that he honestly didn't fucking care. Patrolman Tolliver then asked Corporal Bryant what was wrong, and Corporal Bryant said he was fucking tired of this goddamn place, and he was absolutely done with it. Then as Corporal Bryant walked down the hall, he again said this fucking done with this place, and when he returned to the patrol area, he told Patrolman Tolliver not to expect a goddamn thing from him anymore. Well, that's teamwork for you there, buddy. Okay, here we go. Corporal Bryant has been counseled several times about his attitude and the way he talks to other officers. Corporal Bryant's actions are unbecoming of an officer that works for this department and will not be tolerated. Actions like this, especially from a supervisor, is damaging to the morale of this department and sets a bad example for other officers in the department. Corrective action. Corporal Bryant needs to learn how to control his anger and represent himself and this department in a positive manner. Corporal Bryant will be demoted to the rank of patrolman first class and suspended for three days without pay. Seems fitting. Except for one problem. Somewhere along the way, between March 6th of 2019 and... Uh, was this 715 to 2021 he was again promoted to the rank of corporal uh, I'm not seeing that in his file here I'm seeing demoted on 7617 and then demoted again on 71521 now this was just the the uh, the interaction you saw in the video there between uh, Jeremiah Mobley and Corporal Adam, or then Corporal Adam Bryant. Uh, you know, you can you can watch that video and pretty much spells it out what happened in here. But corrective action is what I, what I really want to look at. When looking at what actions to take in reference to this incident, I look back at previous counselings, and it's, it's apparent that Corporal Bryant has a pattern of this behavior, which has not been solved by counselings alone. With the best interest of this department in mind, Corporal Bryant will be again demoted to the rank of Patrolman First Class Effective immediately. Corporal Bryant will also receive a three-day suspension. Chief Stover and myself also recommended that Bryant, now he's a PFC Bryant, take it upon himself to seek counseling to help with these issues. Now this was on the, uh, uh, his suspension was on the 16th, 17th, and 18th of 2021. Now if you watch closely, the video I am at uh, that I've linked in the uh, in the card up there. Uh, it was on the 21st of July, 2021, and that's three days 
after his suspension was up, he was wearing corporal stripes again. Now, I don't understand. I don't understand this. Um, I don't understand this. Uh, understand this guy. I don't understand this. Uh, this governing body. I don't understand how this man still has a job. I don't understand. I don't understand how the the alderman, the the city councilman, can can put their faith and trust in a, in a chief that does not handle these situations and get rid of an officer like this. Only because of the Freedom of Information Act have I obtained this personnel record. It demonstrates this pattern of misconduct, ranging from his date of hire to most recently of July 2021. If as a governing body you fail to act on an out-of-control rogue cop among your ranks, Mr. Peavy could have been killed or severely injured by Bryant's actions. And it wouldn't just be the fault of this cop, but also the system, the governing body that has either been kept in the dark concerning the actions of this individual who has systematic problems over the entire course of his career, or you simply have just refused to act, or is this just the culture of policing in this town? Now, everyone will be aware of Bryant's tendencies to repeat, repeatedly violate the rights of citizens, his fellow officers, and to use excessive force and tasers on handcuffed citizens. We as citizens now need to put political and public pressure on the local authorities when they decide to employ and retain individuals like Adam Bryant, who not only cost the, the good officers of Morton Police Department the goodwill of the people, it will also end up costing us money not only in terms of real money and treasure, but will eventually cost the city in blood. Cops like this are the reason good cops get killed. And when it does happen, you, as a system, as a city council, will be responsible for the bloodshed just as much as the person who pulled the trigger. If you continue to foster an environment, and atmosphere that protects and promotes bad cops like Adam Bryant, you, through your inaction as a municipality and as a police department, you will get what you deserve. We as the citizens of Moralton, Arkansas, deserve much more for our $53,000 per year salary we pay this man. We want action.